Hey guys, so today we're doing a project pan which I've been carrying on for like four months and I'm very proud of myself. I think it's like three, three, four months, something along those lines. And anyway, I'm just very proud of myself because I've been keeping up with everything that is in here. Well, I've changed out a few things, but that's kind of the point of a project pan is just figuring out what you like and what you don't like. If you didn't know, a project pan is you pick a few items, usually just like one of each category for the face and body. People do random things like perfumes and body lotions and whatever else people need to finish up. And you're essentially just trying to focus on that specific product instead of dipping into other products or buying other products. And it, it also is used in a way to show you how long it takes to use product up because we're all just blissfully unaware. So before we get into the video, uh, I just wanted to add like in every video that YouTube has been unsubscribing people and not sending out notifications. So just make sure if you've been subscribed before that you still are subscribed. And if you haven't been subscribed before and this is the first time you're seeing me, consider subscribing, but also turn on post notifications to all rather than personalized. And then you're more likely to find out when I'm actually posting a video. Social media in description and main channel. And let's get into it. So I used up the first Aid Beauty primer. And then I said I was going to start using the Too Faced primer. And that was a lie. I still haven't started using it because I've been using the Milk Hydro Grip. I just don't feel the need to double up on hydration after already doing my skincare routine. And it'll probably just get a little bit too oily, too dewy, too greasy. So I'm just finishing up the Milk Hydro Grip. I think this is going to stay in my project pan. I'm about that much into it so we'll see how this goes how long this takes me to use up and then i'll move on to the Too faced but it's just because i was already using this up i just didn't see the point of stopping this to then continue to the Too faced but in my project pan for foundations i had the hourglass vanish stick which i've been going at since pretty much the start of the project pan i don't think we've made much progress since last time i saw you we have about this much left beautiful wonderful however i stopped using it because we're getting into the winter season and when it's winter season my skin just takes a nosedive because quite frankly, like my skin's usually a bit complicated. It's a little bit confused. It's like, well, once we're dry and then we're combination and then we're oily. But when it hits winter time, all of that is just dialed up a hundred. So it gets kind of complicated. And then um, I mentioned this in my other video. Like, I don't know which video it was, but I mentioned it before. I've now figured out why for all of last year's winter and autumn, I used the Glossier Skin Tint and Stretch Concealer. It's because those are the only products let me emphasize, pretty much only products that I know will guarantee a good base. I can use some other products and I can test and try and depending on the day, they might work, but they might not. But if I want a guaranteed good skin looking day in the winter time and autumn time, I have to use the Glossier Skin Tint and Glossier Stretch Concealer. So those are the two products I'm putting into my project pan and taking out the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I'll come back to the Hourglass Vanish Stick once the winter time is over, which isn't for another few months. So uh, we'll come back to that on another day. And these are the two I'm putting in. So for the Glossier Skin Tint, I mean, I don't know how much we have left. It's, it sounds kind of like it's not used, maybe like three quarters, that's kind of what it sounds like. So this will be a few months of use. And then for the Stretch Concealer, we have a reasonable size dent. So that's kind of where we're at. These are both in the G11 shade, which is the second lightest shade, and they're both just the same one. So in the meantime, I'm also taking out the It Cosmetics concealer because it's a little too heavy for the skin tint. I feel like you can't really match up light coverage concealer with full coverage foundation or the other way around because it kind of starts to look a little bit ridiculous. And the way it breaks up also is very different. So for example, the skin tint will slight, start to fade a little bit faster than the IT Cosmetics full coverage Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. So then what I'll end up with is like a bare face with just like under eyes done. I don't know, it's just not a good look. Those are the changes that I'm making. Then I did finish the Glossy Wilder and instead I'm putting in the Colourpop No Filter Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And I am about that much into it. So if I tip it, I'm about there. Like I'm right on the word setting. So we'll we'll see where we get from here. I'm keeping the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Powder for the setting powder at the top. I've used up so much of this. Like it's such a small pan that, you know, you just, just it just goes very quickly. Uh, so this is about how far along I am. I'll compare it to obviously last month. So this is where we're at. Um, I love this. It works just like the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. But once I'm done with this, I won't repurchase the whole palette. I'll just repurchase the Charlotte Tilbury Powder. I'm still keeping the Hourglass Powder in the Project Pan. This is, you know, you, you're not really seeing much of a difference because with this, before you hit pan, it kind of takes a while. It's also a baked product, so you're using up less of it. For bronzer, I'm keeping in the Butter Bronzer. I'm making some good progress. 
I can't wait to finish this bronzer. I said in my last project pan that I might, like once I hit a good pan, I might just like try a different bronzer and then come back to this. But I'm actually now thinking like with how happy I am with this progress, I just want to keep on going until it's completely gone. So hold me to that uh, because I want that to happen. So for blush, I've been kind of bouncing around. The thing about me is blush is one of those things I change up pretty much every time I do my makeup, just depending on what else I have going on in my face. So this is the one I had in my project pan since the beginning. It's the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. The packaging is completely broken because I broke it on purpose because I just didn't want the bulky packaging. I've been keeping this in my project pan for a while. I mean, it's got a pan. I've hit pan on it, uh, but I just haven't used it in a while because I don't know why, because I bought a lot of blushes, okay? You caught me, I bought a lot of blushes and it got a bit ridiculous, so I didn't have time to use this. I'm gonna keep this on the sidelines on my project pan. This isn't like my main focus, main priority, the way these other products are, but I'm keeping it in because I kind of do want to hit more pan on this, but I know I'm prioritizing other blushes, so I'll try. Maybe if I keep this in my project pan, I'll like force myself to go at it, because I was really making some good progress with this, and it's so old, I want to use it up, so keeping this in. I'm not making any promises, but I'm keeping this in. Like for the last two months, I'm keeping the same highlight in. So this is the ColourPop Your Trip Super Shock highlight. This is what it looks like. I actually flattened this out today. I don't know why I didn't just not do that because then you would have seen how much pan I hit but I what I do with the super shock formula because it's so like malleable I just move it around to like flatten it out so there's not like a dip in one area because then I find it crumbles up a little bit too much but right here uh, I've pretty much completely like touched plastic so I am making good progress on this this might be the only highlight I ever finish. That's the plan. I love this highlight so much. As you guys know, literally 2020's best highlight award goes to Your Trip by Colourpop. They did something with this. I then have the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I still am keeping this in. I forgot to use it the last few times. I feel like I just didn't use setting spray. The last few times I've been wearing makeup, I just didn't apply setting spray. I don't know why, but I'm making really good progress on this. I can hear that it's like maybe a quarter or a third of the product. So I'm hoping to get through this very quickly because I have a few setting sprays and like a backlog of setting sprays. And I'm just hoping to get through this so I can get onto other setting sprays. Like I said, I won't be repurchasing this once this runs out because it's kind of not worth the money. Like it's not bad, but it's also not worth the money. So I just don't see the point, but I'm happy to be using this. I'm not like angry about it. It does the job of a setting spray really. Like I'm making some good progress. Once I'm done with the hourglass setting spray, just in case I'm done by the next video, I don't think I will be, but just in case I am, I poured the Kylie setting spray from the last Christmas collection. Like the, the one in the red bottle, I poured it into here and it's yellow and it's got like the glitter going through it. You can see it. It's a shimmery setting spray. And the only reason I did that is because I bought the Dyson Airwrap the other day and you kind of need your hair to be a little bit damp. So once it dries a little bit too much, I needed a spray bottle to spray my hair, but I didn't want anything too like misty or too harsh. So I thought the Kylie sprayer was actually the best for that job. So I ended up pouring the Kylie spray into here, uh, which is my favorite setting spray, the Fenty one. I like the mister on it. And then I just keep water in the other one for my hair. So I'm hoping that I'll kind of get to this and then I'll use it up. The next thing that's in my project pan and it has been for a month or so is, oh my God, I just almost broke it, is the ColourPop Brow Boss in Taupe, which I have about this much left, which isn't a lot at all. So I'll probably be done with this by the next project pan video. So uh, the next product I'll be putting in instead of this is the glossy brow flick because I think I have a bunch of those left. So I'll be putting in the brow flick. I'll be going back to my roots. I love the brow flick. Like I remember my eyebrows were so easy to do with the brow flick and the boy brow combination. Speaking of the boy brow, I'm still using the boy brow that I was using in my last project pan. It is, you know, it's getting ruined now. Um, it's starting to become way more dry. You can tell one of that one of these products like mascaras, brow gels are finishing up. So when you take it out and it doesn't have like a group of product right at the top of the thing and it doesn't, it just comes out pretty much dry. So I think I'll be done with this by next video. And then I have another boy brow to put into the project pan, like a completely full one. And I have a Glossier brow gel, which I'm now debating if I want to go into another boy brow right after this. So if I wanna try the ColourPop brow gel, I think I'll do the ColourPop brow gel. So you probably see that one in the next project pan video. The next product is kind of a weird one. I haven't, well, it's not weird. It's pretty normal, but I just haven't put one in my project pan before and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic 
pencil in bedroom black which is basically just a black eyeliner and I kind of want to make some progress on one of these I have a bunch of eye pencils now in my thingy and it's like running out of space if I buy anything else it's just not going to fit in there so I'm going to try to start going through these and see how much I can get down I'm going to try force myself to remember to tight line because that always looks really nice it like thickens up your lashes I don't have to do my waterline if I don't want to but I think my tight line would be like a nice way to use this up while also making my lashes look thick I'm adding a new product into the project pan and it's the KVD Lash Primer. It is officially one of my favorite lash products. I haven't used a primer in my life before because they're all like stark white. I, I can tell they're just gonna be like a mess to try and, you know, cover up with mascara. So this was the first time I ever bought because it's actually dark gray. So it's very easy to cover up. You don't actually need to cover it up because it looks like mascara. So this is the shade it is. You can see it's like a, like a graphite -y shade and it is the best thing I've ever bought for my lashes it just makes them like thick but separated but long at the same time it does everything I needed to do it's called epic curl and I do think it does hold a curl really well it essentially just makes your eyelashes more grippy so if you let it dry completely your eyelashes will feel like they've got like a very thin layer of mascara on which makes it easier for mascara to then stick onto your lashes and you don't have to do as many coats of mascara because you've already got this like extra beginning layer of this so then your lashes don't get too clumped up because you're not doing too many layers of mascara it's a very complicated process but it's actually super helpful and i will be repurchasing this the moment i'm finished with it i still have the pat mcgrath fetishize mascara in my project pan i'm still not done with it however like i said with the boy brow i can tell i'm finishing up because there's not as much goopiness on the wand like usually there'll be a bunch here in between like the let me just take it off. In between like the brush and the wand, there'll usually be a bunch. Now there's not that much. Like that is not a lot of product to be gooping up on the brush. So I think by next video, I'll definitely be done with this. And I would have probably moved on to the Casazetta Jones. I do mascara in chronological order, like the way I open them or the way I tried them out in first impressions. That's the way I want to use them up because that's the way they'll expire. So the Casazetta Jones is the next one in my lineup. So for travel size mascaras, I'm putting a bunch of those in as well. So I use them like like if I throw them into my bag and then I'll use them. Of course, we're not really going anywhere right now, but I'm still, you know, trying to make the most of these. I'm still using the Hourglass Caution Mascara. That one's still perfectly fine. I'll still be going at this and I don't think I'll be done with it anytime soon, but I have two versions of the Go Big or Go Home Mascara. I don't know if it's like old packaging, new packaging, but this is the KVD Mascara. Oh, right, because this one still says Kat Von D on it and it's like a tube mascara, but this one also says Kat Von D on it. Okay, that doesn't really make sense. Anyway, old packaging. I have two of the KVD uh, Go Big or Go Home mascara. So once I'm done with this travel size, I'll be getting onto one of these. For lips, I'm still using the Kylie Forever and Always lip liner. This is how big it is now. I've sharpened it like twice or three times. I keep on forgetting to use it. And then when I do, I'm like, oh, I could have made so much progress. I'm also keeping in the lip crayon, the Just a Tint ColourPop lip crayon in Gimme Small. I haven't made much progress on this, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, because I haven't used it much, but this is where we're at with that one. So I'm gonna keep it in just to make sure that I am actually trying to use it up, because I think it'll be quite cool to use up a pretty new product. But other than those two products, I really don't have anything else I wanna put into my project pan, because I kind of like, with blush, uh, lips are one of those things where I change it up every single time I do my makeup. So um, I'll try and do those two, but I'll definitely be using other things as well. So. I'm not hoping for big progress, but I'm just putting them in. And the last thing I want to put into my project pan is kind of eyeshadow, but in like a very broad sense. I want to focus on my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes again. I feel like I spent so much money on them and I just spent some more because I went on Instagram at 1am and an ad for Pat McGrath came up, which said, hey, there is a 30% site wide sale. Everything is on a 30% sale. And I couldn't say no because I was already, I was telling you guys that I was waiting until November for Cyber Monday to buy Pat McGrath like other mothership palettes and I was telling you guys this and then I went on Instagram and I was hoping for a 25% off for Cyber Monday and they just gave like a random 30% off so I was like oh I can skip Cyber Monday now and just do it now and then I won't have to buy them later on so I ordered three big mothership palettes and the three small ones from last year's Christmas collection you can shout at me go on do it do it, just, just shout at me, it's fine. So I'm gonna try to focus on my Pat McGrath palettes because I feel like they're so stunning and they're so expensive, but I feel like I never really think about them because they're in their own little like collection space because I'm like, oh, like they're like my little precious palettes. But I just wanna make use of them. Like they're not like a, a statue that's just like standing in my room. They're an actual product that I'm allowed to use. I feel like sometimes when I buy really expensive things, I'm like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna use it. Uh, so I'm wearing the Bronze Seduction today and I, I feel so good in it. Like I love the eyeshadows. I love the Blitz 
formula it just looks amazing so i want to use more of them i have the bronze seduction i have the divine rose and divine rose 2 and then i have the three small ones for from this christmas and then i'm gonna have three from last christmas and three new ones so clearly i have a lot of palettes to get through and those are the ones i want to focus on mainly this um like autumn winter se season i feel like they're very like autumnal glam palettes so today i actually used this shade in the crease and then i put this in the crease to deepen it up it is a shimmer shade but you can use um, pam mcgrath shimmers to deepen things up or just in the crease and then i use my favorite shade in all planet earth really this one right here from the bronze seduction palette all over the eyelids but because i went more bronzy it came out more bronzy than pink but it's just so beautiful and then i went back into this one and i used this beautiful shade kind of like just tapped in the center so it gives it that like beautiful glimmer these are so beautiful like honestly these shades at, at the end here i still haven't used this on the eyes can you imagine i don't know what's happened to me i just i feel like these have just become like such a like little like oh they're like my babies i don't want to use them up but like i have to start using them you know properly so i am using them i want to try this shade on my eyes so bad like look at it it's such a gorgeous shade i used this one on my eyes today and i think it's just one of the most beautiful shades ever look at that that's stunning this one has a dent in it that's how much i've used it it's just a beautiful pink these are all stunning shades i need to use them and the thing is every time i use pat mcgrath eyeshadows i feel beautiful i feel amazing i feel like i'm i can conquer the world and then i forget to use them because they're so like just in their own little space so yeah but as you can see i've made a dent in that one right there which is you can tell it's my favorite one so that's it for all of my project pan stuff if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below anything you want to comment down below and subscribe to the videos every time i think of something to do so hit that bell you'll be notified when that's happening social media links main channel affiliate links any other links in the description i'll see you in my next one bye guys